Hi everyone, I'll be showing how to fix Grub in your encrypted Endeavor OS installation. If it was working before and you get this, or this, or if you're dual booting with Windows and it goes straight into Windows, then I'll show how you can get Grub working again. When I power on my computer, it'll load the Endeavor EFI boot file, which will then ask me for the passphrase to decrypt my partition where Grub is located. I then put in my passphrase, and then it'll decrypt the partition, and then Grub will come up. And on my computer, I'm dual booting, so there's an entry for Endeavor OS, and also as well as for Windows. So before fixing Grub, I'll have to break it. So I'm going to go into Endeavor OS, log in, open up File Manager or Dolphin, and now going into slash boot, this is where all of the boot files are located. And I'm going to go into the grub directory. And then there's the grub.cfg file. This is the main configuration file for grub. And it has all the boot entries that we saw earlier and how to boot into the operating systems. So if I were to delete this and then restart my computer, this is what will show up. And now going back, and if I were to go out of this directory, and then there's the grub folder. And if I were to delete the grub folder and then restart my computer, this is what will show up. Now going back, and then there's the EFI folder. Now the EFI folder here, the contents in here are not encrypted. And if I go into the EFI directory here, this is where the EFI boot files are located. So when your computer starts up, it'll look for EFI boot files. And so in this directory, you can see here that there's a directory for boot, there's a directory for Endeavor OS, and there's a directory for Microsoft. So inside the Microsoft directory, so there's going to be the boot files to boot Windows. And I'm going to go back out, go back out again. And then there's Endeavor OS. So there's the boot file, grubx64, that is loaded when my computer starts up. And going back out, and then there's the boot folder here, and I go into it, and then there's a bootx64.efi file. So this file here is actually the same as the file we just saw earlier, the grubx64 file here. And why it's there is because it's just a fallback bootloader. Now, Microsoft is known for removing anything not related to Windows in this folder here. So if I were to delete the Endeavor OS and boot folders here, and so there's just a Microsoft folder. And if I were to restart my computer, it would boot straight into Windows. So now I'm going to show you how you can fix Grub. And you're going to need the Endeavor OS installation media. So the one I downloaded is Endeavor OS Mercury Neo, and you'll need to boot into it. So I'm going to go and boot into it. All right, and so I've booted into the installation media, and I'm going to select the first option here, Endeavor OS. All right, it's booted into the live environment. I get the welcome screen here. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to sudo in, sudo su dash. Now I'm going to type in ls block. So it's going to list all my block devices. And so we see here my block devices. So there's SDA, which is my hard drive. And then there's SDB, which is my USB drive. And so I have Endeavor OS encrypted. And so Endeavor OS is on SDA5 here. And the file system type is crypto underscore lux, which is Linux unified key setup. And so I'll have to open this up. And to do that, I'll be using crypt setup. So crypt setup, open dev SDA5. And then I'll map it as crypt root. And then put in the passphrase that I have for it. And then now if I do an ls block again, we see now that it's there and it's mapped it as crypt root and it saves the file system ext4. So then now I can mount it. So mount dev mapper crypt root. And I'll be mounting it to the slash mnt directory. And then now if I go into the mount directory, do an ls-al. And we see all the contents there. 
Next, I'm going to cat the Etsy FS tab file. So this will list all the file systems that are mounted in my Endeavor OS installation. So do a cat Etsy FS tab. And so we see here that there are three entries, slash boot, slash EFI, slash and slash temp. So I've already mounted slash. Now I'll need to do slash boot slash EFI. And in the entry, seen as UUID equals DE76-FC84. And so what I can do to identify what partition that is, I can type in block ID and then pipe it and then grep for, for FC84. And we see here that it is dev SDA1. So I'm going to mount it, mount dev SDA1. And it's going to slash mount slash boot slash EFI. All right, and it's been mounted and I'm going to CD out of this directory. I'll need to also mount four more directories to be available. So that's slash dev slash proc slash sys and slash run. So doing slash dev mount dash b slash dev to mount slash dev. And then next do proc. And then sys. and then run. All right, so those mount points are now available. And now I'm going to true into the mount directory. And now I'm going to make the EFI variables available. Now I'm going to do a grub install. Target equals XA6, 64, dash EFI, and then the EFI directory. It's going to be slash boot slash EFI. All right, installation finished, no errors reported. And then now do a grub make config. Dash O, output it to boot grub grub.cfg. All right, and the grub configuration file has been created. And I'm going to exit out of the true root, and I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. And I'm going to remove my USB drive as it's no longer needed. All right, and in my boot order here, I have the Windows Boot Manager. And second is Endeavor OS, so I'll have to change it. So Endeavor OS is first. And then I'll save changes and exit. All right, and we can see that it found the Endeavor OS EFI boot file. And now it's asking me for the passphrase in order to decrypt my partition. So I'm going to put it in. And it's successful. And there are my boot entries, Endeavor OS. And there's Windows. So I'm going to go into Endeavor OS. Log in. All right. And so it booted up as expected. And now I'm going to restart to ensure I can get back into Windows. Select Windows. All right, and it's booted into Windows as expected. So that's it. That's how you can fix your grub in an encrypted Endeavor OS installation. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.